Empire to review. Happy Monday. This week we're talking all about integumentary. So let's kick it off with our question of the week. If you're caring for a post-op client that's at high risk for a pressure ulcer, which intervention should the nurse include in the plan of care? First, we have applying a sequential compression device, an SCD. This is great to do post-operatively, but it does not prevent a pressure ulcer. It helps us prevent a thrombus, a clot such as a DVT. We should also not apply an extra sheet to the bed. This might sound counterintuitive, but the less linen, the better. More linen just causes extra moisture retention, and that can actually lead to the development of a pressure ulcer. C is also inappropriate because a donut pillow puts a lot of pressures on the capillaries right around the buttocks. That can definitely lead to a pressure ulcer and should actually be avoided in a client that's at risk. Which leaves us with D, your correct answer. You should, in fact, encourage a high protein diet. Protein is essential for wound healing, which your client's going to be doing postoperatively. It's also going to discourage fluid shifting because all that protein in the blood vessels is gonna help the fluid stay where it's supposed to. All of this means lower risk for a pressure ulcer. If you need more help with the integumentary system, head over to archerreview.com where we have full on-demand videos and tons of practice questions to help you out. We'll see you there.